place because they smoke or they are obese. Karina Hubert, live in New York. And Karina, these workers are about to pay more when it comes to their insurance, right? That's right, Martin. A new study finds that nearly 40% of employers will penalize their workers next year if they are obese or if they smoke. Now, that's a, a big jump from back in 2009 when it was at 9%. Uh, at the moment, some state workers already pay more, like in South Carolina and Georgia. But some of the private employers, like Walmart, the nation's largest private employer, will charge tobacco users higher premiums next year. But they will operate on the honor system and not test specifically to see whether you have nicotine in your blood. Other companies do use medical screening. So we're seeing a, a lot more sticks being employed to get people to get healthier. And what is behind all of this? Well, of course, this is about uh, rising health care costs. They are soaring. And not only for workers. In most cases, it's actually employers who pay even more than we do. Uh, a Kaiser Family Foundation study found that next year it will cost an extra 1300 bucks for family insurance. So essentially, employers are just trying to get you to make more healthy decisions that could equate to fewer sick days and less frequent trips to the doctor's office and expensive long-term treatments. Now, of course, not everyone is in favor of this. The critics are saying this is an invasion of privacy. It's a tax on lifestyle. All right, Karina Huber, thanks very much. Maybe a little financial incentive for people to get healthier. Next.